What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, welcome, welcome. I wanted to take some time to cover a company that we've talked about before in other videos, but just keep you updated on this. So if you're watching this video, you may uh, have watched my other video about XDC. We kind of dug into what it was, what potential it has. So I wanted to take some more time to share some more deep dive information, just kind of an update on the system, the company, what they're doing, and more importantly, the use cases. So when we think about when people say, well, Dylan, what's some good crypto to get into right now? XDC is one of those that I feel the strongest about long term as far as potential and what they're doing because they have a lot of use cases. And so I wanted to show you guys more of some recent developments, kind of pull together a bunch of different data and show you like the potential because a project if there's no use cases or if there's no adoption i believe long term there's not going to be any potential you know like you just they won't be around like i see this one this one tweet from max scruffer on twitter says regulation will shut down 99 percent of coins lack of funding during a lower cash flow period will shut down more the wild west of crypto probably won't exist for another run and the projects actively building to meet compliance with utility will survive so that's why i believe XDC is one of those. So this article from the News Crypto, uh, this is from maybe a less than a week ago. Why is XCC network inevitable for blockchain industry? This is going to be massive. You see right here, we'll review it. XDC network has essentially many live applications. So check some of this stuff out here. If this doesn't make you, if you don't already own XCC, after reading some of this, you will definitely want to go pick some up. You can get that on gate.io or BitTrue. Again, not financial advice. This is just a company I feel like is going places. Zenfin, XCC, have built a global network that links users to marketplaces featuring decentralized applications, what are called dApps. These dApps, moreover, exude unparalleled efficiency, security, and user control. In addition, it also has easier mechanisms compared to other networks, like Ethereum, making its users smoothly and quickly build applications on top of XDC. In fact, these advantages made it known as an Ethereum killer because compared to Ethereum, Zenfin is better in many aspects, like it's quicker in transaction speed and near zero gas fees. So some of these use cases, some of these use cases are gonna be really interesting. The first is Store X, and I'm going to go over, we're going to go into a little bit more deeper. What are these? You're like, well, that's great. They're, oh, here's a cool, there's a use case. Well, I'm going to show you what th these use cases are. The first is Storks, a distributed cloud storage that is powered by Zenfin. This cloud storage network empowers users to store data securely and safely on the cloud. That is that is going to be really cool. So this is a little bit of what StoreX is. Just to kind of show you, StoreX is essentially a, you see right here, truly decentralized cloud storage. StoreX helps you securely encrypt, fragment, and then distribute important data across multiple hosting nodes spread worldwide. StoreX provides a democratic marketplace for hosting data, replacing the centralized intermediaries with a decentralized blockchain network exercise complete control and grant access over your data sets without any centralized intermediary so this is going to be taking the power away from some of these big tech conglomerates that are basically keeping your data right so you can now you don't have to trust your information in just like google drive or something like that you can truly get 100% decentralized storage. You see right here, all of your store files across multiple storage farm servers worldwide. So you see the XDC token will be the settlement layer that StoreX is built on. So it's super fast. You see right here, total users already, 115,000 users already for this. That's just massive. So that that's one use case right there. You can see uh, what are some of these other use cases? Go back here. This cloud storage network empowers users to store data safely and on the cloud. Next is plugin. This one's really cool. A decentralized Oracle platform. This offers cost-effective solutions for any smart contract built on the Zenfin ecosystem. Additionally, the plugin collects 
data from several external sources, gathers them, and then ensures that the values provided to its users are always correct. So it's essentially a way for other, for different data here. Let's just, let's just look and see what it is. Secure, scalable, blockchain agnostic, decentralized Oracle. And Oracle is essentially a way for that blockchain to communicate with outside data and know that that data is verified and correct. So oracles are what allow different blockchains to talk and communicate together. So like for instance, Quant, we talk about Quant. Quant is kind of like as a, it allows different, uh, interestingly enough, a company called Oracle partnered with Quant, but the reason why is that it essentially allows these different systems con to communicate with each other and know that that data set that that's third party or extraneous is correct and can then be used between those different settlement layers. So that's really another use case we see right here that shows you where to get it. And the cool thing about plugin, you see decentralized Web3 API. So we know that, you know, the, the internet of Web 2.0, which is where we are right now, Web 2.0, meaning we've got, you know, Facebook, Google, YouTube, all these big companies own your data. Well, Web 3.0 is going to be where it's more decentralized you as the person who is the data you are the one should that should be ownership of that data and getting compensated for it so this allows for a decentralized so basically other systems blockchain agnostic decentralized oracle can connect into xdc via plugin and you can even buy they even have their own token here i don't own any myself just still digging it around and seeing what this is, but plugin, it seems very promising. You can get, if you know, you can run a node essentially on the plugin. You can basically be a validator with 2,000 tokens. So it might be something if you want to, you know, earn passive income, that would be something that you would maybe want to check out. Decentralized Oracle platform provides cost-effective solution to any smart contract which runs on Zenfin ecosystem plugin enables the smart contract to connect with the real-time world and the data that it receives from the data feed provider is trustable by, by maintaining high degree of security off-chain computation it does takes care of receiving feed from multiple provider and aggregates and aggregates the same so it's our it says live on mainnet now that means it's already running Monetize your data feeds and existing APIs. API is a, a basically a programming interface that connects software together by selling them directly to smart contracts. This prevents repetitive patterns from impairing the overall visual impression and facilitates a comparison of different type faces. Furthermore, it's advantageous when the dummy text is relatively realistic. All right, so moving on. That's an interesting case study there I wanted to share with you. Um, let's continue to the next one because this one's really cool too. Ledger Mail. It's the world's first decentralized email service that has the power of blockchain and the XD POS consensus, which is the delegated proof of stake consensus model that XDC is run on, as well as cryptographic algorithms and zero trust mechanism and operates on the Zenfin network. Adding to the use case, Zenfin and Butterfly Protocol announced before that the Butterfly, Butterfly Protocol blockchain domain system will be used on a Zenfin blockchain specific domain system as well. So you can see right here, Ledger Mail. Ledger Mail is cool. Again, another use case of XCC, the world's first decentralized email solution. All right, so now we don't have to trust all of our, think about how much vital data that in privacy you give up by using centralized email services like through, through Hotmail. Microsoft owns all of that or through Gmail. Gmail's getting all that or Yahoo. Any of these companies... I don't know who owns Yahoo now, but all of these companies that are centralized, they are basically getting money off of your data. So these blockchain type, world's first de decentralized email is going to allow more privacy. So of course, who doesn't want that? And you can already sign up for this is already something you can sign up for. So that's really cool. What is what is the problem with legacy email providers? What is problem with the, uh, that doesn't sound right, but what is the problem with legacy email providers? Insecure, no privacy, no encryption, centralized governance. Why Ledger Mail, a decentralized email solution, which is on a mission to protect digital rights of email users in a decentralized way. It's an immutable, truly private, completely secure, fully customizable 
and cost-effective email service that will soon render the old ways of providing email service obsolete by leveraging the power of blockchain technology. So this is leveraging security of blockchain 4.0 in collaboration with XTC Network. LedgerMail operates on fourth generation hybrid blockchain platform, which is a lightning fast, enterprise ready, super secure, accountable, and forensic control enabled military grade fabric based on delegated proof of stake. Algorithm with 108 transaction validating master nodes and 102 additional standby nodes scattered around the globe already. So this is only going to grow. So that's really pretty decentralized already. So that's massive. Just you see right there. All right, there's another case example of that. What else does this have? They mentioned they mentioned the butterfly protocol here. So that's really cool because essentially, you know how all websites are built off of .com now. Well, in the future and even being built right now, this butterfly protocol is essentially a blockchain domain naming system. The blockchain domain, and this article is from September, uh, August of this year, the blockchain domain registry system will be unique to the XCC blockchain and provide access to domains, tools, and support for decentralized application developers. See right here, Butterfly Pro Protocol, a decentralized autonomous organization. So it's a DAO. Building a decentralized naming system and the XTC network announced this week that the Butterfly Protocol will be used for an XTC blockchain specific domain system. That's huge. Created by Zenfin, the XTC network is an open source delegated proof of stake consensus network. That's the XDPOS which enables hybrid relay bridges, instant block finality, and interoperability with ISO 222 financial messaging standards. We'll talk about this in other videos, ISO 222. If you're watching this, you probably have seen that before, so you know I don't have to tell you how massive that is. And if you don't know what ISO 222 is, definitely I'll be creating more videos around that because it's important. That is definitely those are going to be compliant coins. Those are going to be the coins that the New World Order, the new banking system is built off of. Through a grant from Zenfin, a blockchain registry system will be created that allows developers and users of dApps to register domains and use a growing set of open source tools to develop a standardized URL path of data and processes. This is really neat. We are excited to be an XTC partner. The Butterfly Protocol will be used for creating blockchain top level domains with a blockchain that is known for scalability, stability, and very low transaction costs. This advancement will accelerate decentralized web usage. So that's just, it's in XCC is also EVM compatible, which is Ethereum virtual machine. So any company that's already using Ethereum for their, for their use can instantly and easily switch over to using the Zenfin network. So that's just another great uh, case to use. So those are just, and we don't have to go into all these. There's obviously more. Wads, Pay, Globiant, Slotch, Fiat, Peg, Stable Coins. This is, um, you know, you see right here, XTC Network is enterprise-ready enterprise hybrid blockchain optimized for international trade and finance. And this is cool because it's supporting smart contracts already. It's 2,000 transactions per second. That's way faster than Ethereum two seconds of transaction time and it's KYC know your client can two master nodes so basically you can't be a giant whale or some unknown giant whale controlling the system every master node operator who validates a network is gonna go let like people know who they are that's what KYC means so Zenfin is the first blockchain company to join the TFD initiative the TFD initiative in case you haven't seen and we've talked about this okay, let's just go to this website here Let's see this link right here the tfd initiative is we shared this in other videos but you see the tfd initiative was established by the itfa to boost automation and transparency to trade asset and risk distribution so and they're also connected to trade tech trade tech provides powerful data tools and analytics so these are some of the other use cases that's uniting trade tech trade tech bridges the technology gap in the 15 trillion dollar trade finance market so now you can see how some of these individual use cases all of them start to add up massively when you see company even you see the potential of the trade tech you know 15 trillion dollars in trade tech 
finance mark. And I mean, if for XDC to even capture just a tiny little sliver of that, it would be massive. It would be massive. And we could do some price analysis to, to uh, price analysis as well. You see this article here off of Payment Genes. This shows the rise of CBDCs, which is central bank digital currencies. And in this article, it mentions right here the role of blockchains and CBDCs. Although blockchain technology does not necessarily have to be leveraged, there are already blockchains out there that enable the issuance of central bank digital currencies. Zenfin's enterprise ready hybrid blockchain, meaning it's public and private, a hybrid. XDC Network is a great example of that. And given that they are ISO 222 compliant, offer a great solution to central banks and financial institutions. Although Zenfin's core focuses on leveraging blockchain technology for global trade and trade finance, they have been selected by a consortium of over 40 banks, that's R3 Core, to under the ITFA's TFD, Trade Finance Distribution Initiative, and they can issue CBDCs in a matter of minutes. So they are a huge contender. They're a huge contender. So what I'm trying to get at is these markets, trade finance, distribution poised to grow to $3 trillion market for investors, right? So let's let's actually see, like, what would XDC right now, and right now the price, yes, the price looks scary. We can see, you know, going back to August, we had that pump in August. We went up and, you know, we touched... We touched a lot higher than we are now. You know, back then, now, if you see where we at the, are at the at right now, cannot talk right now, you see where we're at right now is definitely, um, we're down to uh, right at the seven cent range, you know? So even back in August, we were we were touching 18 cent with Wix going a little, with Wix going up to almost 20 cents. So definitely have gone down, but I don't look at things on the short term i'm looking for something and i'm looking for projects that i know over the long run are going to be here i look at the partnerships I already look at what they're seeing so i look and i see something like xdc and then i look at something like solana you know that's already crashed and is not as reliable and it might be faster than ethereum and i know that they've grown a lot because of uh nfts but if we know that even even let's just say three trillion, let's not even let's not even go with the fifteen trillion trade finance with trade tech. Let's just say three trillion, and let's just say that that XCC gets I don't know fifty billion of that. Let's just see what that would put us at fifty billion. Let's say fifty four billion. That's the size and market cap of Solana right now. One XDC would be worth four dollars and forty two cent. So you could have you know with these prices you could get ten. You could let's say you got ten thousand of these. Let's say that you got just ten thousand of these, right? And you've and you've turned. Let's see, that's going to cost you. Let's just say eight cent. Let's say you get in right now eight cent. It's going to cost you eight hundred dollars, right? Well, you could turn that same ten thousand once it hits the market cap of Solana. You turn the eight hundred into let's see what that would do. Doing some quick math here, forty four thousand dollars. So eight hundred turns into forty four thousand dollars when XTC just has a market cap of 54 billion and 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 you see right here three trillion dollar market for investors you know so do i think xdc can be higher than that um absolutely i see xdc i see xcc controlling a lot and being connected to a lot of different systems and so it's just useful to be aware i'll link this is their white paper i'll link that if, in case any of you are are super nerds as well but this could be even more. I mean, let's just, let's say like 200 billion, you know? Like what's 200 billion? 200 billion would put us at $16. $16. So that same 10,000 at 1634 at 1634 is going to put us at $163,400 from 800 bucks. So this is this may be where we are currently in our price, this may really be a point that you might want to consider. We're definitely uh, way down and way off of our top back here. Let's see how far off we are down to, to where we are right now. Wow, 62% almost, you know? I mean, you see right here, we're down, yeah, 64 
64%. So that might be a good, you know, we can at least, if you if you got in right here, not financial advice, and we're, you know, back up, we go up 64% even just to get where we were before, I think it'll go way higher than that. But long term, you see, you know, this these are some good prices to, to maybe consider picking up more. I know that I'm definitely going to continue to dollar cost average into this because this I see is a 500 billion. 500 billion is going to put us at, oh goodness, $40. So you see, I, I think a $500 billion market cap for something like this could be achievable within a three, four, five year period. Especially once the ISO 200 starts kicking in more, I kind of see it as inevitable. So um, this video is getting long, 20 minutes. Hopefully this was good. This just showed you some more stuff that's been happening lately with XTC. I know I've had some people say, do more videos on XTC. Dig into that. I really, XTC is one of my favorite companies, but it's hard to just have one that, I mean, I don't put all my money into just one, one crypto. You know, I spread it out over goodness. Right now, I probably have 15 different projects, or I keep calling them projects, but companies that I've invested in that I think are going places. So I like to have enough that you can stay on top of because you're not going to be able to be in everything, right? But XTC is one of those where I feel confident having secured a good position and at the, uh, continuing to dollar cost average over the next several years. We're continuing to see use cases. We're continuing to see wallet size increase. So that means that, that developers are building on it. So we'll stop there. Um, leave at this. If you're watching this far, thanks for getting through all of this. Hopefully this was a lot. I know I talk fast, but I want to get through a bunch of information. Leave a like, leave a comment. Definitely been growing. I super appreciate all of you watching this, taking time out of your busy lives to come by truly i love this i love sharing this knowledge with you to create generational wealth so just leave a little like leave a comment i try to read every single one and respond to every single one and i appreciate every single one of you we'll see you on the next video